Hello gamers, gaffs, and girlies. Branded Bestial is finally in Master Duel, and it is glorious. I'm currently sitting at a lovely 20 and 1 win rate right now. I had a big win streak that ended last night, I tweeted about that. And others are having similar success with varying builds, but I thought I'd just bring you what I am having success with at the minute with my current build, and give you some ideas of what you could maybe change or play differently. So I won't make this too complicated, we'll just go over it really quick and succinctly, and um, pretty basic. There's not too much to go into with branded theory, this is, you know, if you've been following in the TCG you already know probably how to build roughly branded nowadays, but of course we're playing a lot of bestials because it's tier format, and also the mirror match is going to be quite prevalent. So there are some things you're going to play differently, but there are some things I've taken from playing in Sayak format in the TCG, that I am taking to the way I used to build in Hypernova format and making some adjustments. So let's cover the things that are different for those that have only played Branded in Master Duel. So first off we have Blazing Cartesia, a brand new card, really really insane. Tuna, but that doesn't really come up yet. Uh, but mainly, this is really really good as a polymerization at any point. This basically replaces the entire Edgem package by itself and makes our new fusion monster Grangrenol, which can be used for some disgusting locks like the gimmick puppet lock, but we're not doing that in this list. I don't think it's actually very good in best of one. So we're not going around that, but I'm going to be playing two Cartesia and a three deployment. This has become a pretty standard ratio in the TCG at the minute. Time will tell if it's the correct way to play in pre uh, Syax sort of deck building, but I think it is probably. It's really, really nice to have two of these in rotation, have the higher chance of opening. Five, I think, is a very good number to have access to. Uh, as well as the fusion deployment, if you already have Cartesia, will get you into stuff like Albaz, which you can use to fuse off your opponent's stuff going second, which actually comes up a lot. And I think, especially given the fact that Alibu is semi'd, we need more good normal summons, and Cartesia is like the next best thing we can have as a normal summon, at least until we get Quem. I think definitely when Quem comes out we have to play two, because Alibu being semi-limited really really hurts us in terms of sheer numbers. So looking at the Bestials, we're playing uh, one Magma, one Jerusalem, because they're both limited, being the best ones, and I'm playing two Sarana, two Baldrake. You could adjust these numbers a bit, maybe one Baldrake, three Sarana, maybe three Sarana, zero Baldrake. I like six total Bistials, I think that's a pretty good number, especially with Tear going around, but also with the Mirror going around. And I think Sarana and Baldrake have equal applications. Baldrake's a really powerful interruption, and with only one Jerusalem and one Magnemut, you kind of need to guarantee that one of your Bistials is going to be a significant interaction. I'd rather not play through Sarana because it doesn't represent uh, clearing a monster by itself, whereas pretty much every other Bistial does go 2 for 1, whereas Sarana only sort of goes 1.5 for 1. It is good for Branded, but I don't think it's as good as it could be. Uh, and then we're playing Lebellion. So, Lebellion can vary anywhere from 3 to 1 based on how many Bistials you're playing. I think 2 is probably the magic number if you're on this many. You know, on turn 1 you could open 8 Bistials, you know, there's a pretty good chance you're going to open one, pretty good chance you're going to draw into one. Uh, Magnema can search Lebellion, Lebellion's a good send of Brand Infusion. You want to have someone to send with Brand Infusion all times, ideally. Sometimes you can send Cartesia, it's a bit more setup, but it is nice to always have Lebellion rotation and to order turns in specific ways. And it can summon itself from hand, so it isn't a dead draw, and it, it, even if you don't have the ability to use the search effect, which you usually should, unless you're under Droll or something, in which case then you can still summon it from hand. And alongside that, we're playing it, two new Branded spell traps that it can search with its second effect, which is Branded Regained, which draws a card when we use our Bestials, and allows us to, every turn, summon a Bestial back from the grave on our opponent summons a monster. And Branded Beast, which is usual grab from the Bellion, uh, other than Lost, which lets you just pop a card every turn during the main phase, and it lets you grab either Lost or Regained from the graveyard after they've been sent there by Albion or Sarenir. Very, very good cards. Um, you can choose not to play these, especially if you're not playing a high Bistial count, but I think right now you need to play a high Bistial count, so I think they're really, really good right now. Um, there is the issue that if you want to play cards like Banishment or White, I think you have to cut some of these, because there's far too many one-of spell traps that don't do enough by themselves in hand. You don't want to have a hand open up and have, like, Banishment, Red, Regained, and nothing else in terms of plays. So you really don't want to play a bunch of traps and spells, so it's sort of mix and match, but this is what I'm going with in a minute. Maybe I'll try Banishment later, maybe when Tear isn't quite the super threat, I'll try it as well. But instead of Banishment, we're of course on 3 Super Poly. 
This is Nuts with Garura. Uh, in TCG, I think it's more debatable whether you use Super Poly, but that's because there's more monsters in the branded extra deck in TCG right now. Uh, you can definitely fit in a Mud Dragon and a Garura right now. It's still a little tight. I'd like to be able to fit in stuff like Titanoclad, but I do think Priscenian is really crazy to summon off Green All into Tillament. This just takes Kit Close from your opponent's graveyard, which can be really insane. Or you can even special a Collider from your opponent's grave and shuffle a card from there the field into the deck because it only has to be special summon, not fusion summoned. Still playing Adlib, Adlib's a really good scent off of Grangwinol. This is a really good PC or setup. Playing three Albaz, it's actually really good to open it. It's really good to fusion deployment it. You don't want to get hit by Runix. And it's really, really good off of a bunch of stuff. Like three Albaz is definitely the way you should be playing it. It's really, really good. I think you could maybe try and cut down to two if you want more consistency, but I think this is fine. Like I'm playing uh, Foolish and Gold type because like, I think what the strength of Branded is in playing over 40 is that there are a lot of these cards that let you sculpt your hand that you don't necessarily need to open a perfect balanced hand, you can sort of sculpt around it, and so you can go over 40 and you can afford to fit in more stuff like that. And I think the problem right now is we have to play cards like Cross Out for Ash, particularly for Maxi. I wouldn't be playing Cross Out at a one of if Maxi was not in the format, I would absolutely cut them down immediately to 40. I would just Honestly, I would cut down to 39 instantly if Maxi was banned. I'd cut out Cross Out, I'd cuss out the Maxi, cut out the Ash. Probably keep the Cold by because it still hits a lot of stuff like Bell and, of course, the Ash. But you don't need to, of course, play the one of Cross Out with an Ash at that point. And I'd probably fit in an additional Lubellion or something like that. But, of course, Maxi's going to be here to stay, so there's no point in hyper. There's no point in hypothesizing about that. If we cut down to one tragedy, that is a change. Uh, you don't really want to draw this anymore, it's just too dead in the hand. Uh, but we have Foolish for it, we have Sark for it, we have Opening to pitch it, we have a bunch of ways to get through it, so we don't need to worry about that. Uh, and even if you do draw it, you can maybe cut TCF, fuse it off, and then you still get your Search for Alibur. Or for Adlib. Uh, anything else? No, I don't think anything else really changes. Uh, Retribution is still pretty standard, really, really good card to send and recycle stuff. Uh, the main on-field effect of this is now usable. You can very often set this up um, if you don't have a brand and red target engrave in the end phase, and then you just have a solemn warning, essentially, and this can come up a lot, and it even negates Bistials, which comes up really, really uh, often, actually. Everything else is pretty much standard, max numbers of everything else you can really play or would want to play. Some people can play Tomb of Curry, I don't really like it. Uh, some people are in kit, I don't really like it, I don't like the putting back a card to the deck, I'd much rather just open uh, more staples and things. And I don't find myself ever wanting kit um, from resolving turns and stuff, I've played, 20, I've played 21 games now so far in the format, and I just don't think I ever needed kit in any of those games. The one game I lost was completely out of my control, it was just, you know, tears having everything. As for the extra deck, uh, yeah, Guru of a Dragon just for Super Poly, pretty standard that way. Uh, Dragostap is also for Super Poly, pretty standard. You can maybe play Starving Venom, I don't know how you would fit it in though, it's pretty difficult. Two Albion is pretty much required. Quiridus is one of those ones that you could maybe not play if you're on Priscanian. You do need a target for Grangrenol to summon from the extra deck. I like to play two, I think Veritas beats all OTK strategies and decks that are not vulnerable to Priscanian, and Priscanian beats a bunch of decks that require graveyard setup and stuff like that, and it's a really good OTK tool. Uh, you could maybe fit Titanoclad, Brigrand, Sprint and stuff in here, so very much there's things you could tweak and customize here, but this is just what I like. Uh, one Masquerade, you know, helps just close out games where you're not quite on lethal, and it's a good, sometimes you just have to fuse for something that isn't Chimera with Red or Cartesia, and that just gives you something you can easily make with generic materials. Two Mirror Jade, pretty standard. Uh, one Lubellion, you don't need to play two, you just need to play one. Um, when Cash Tira comes out, you may have to play two of this because of Diabolosis if they don't preemptively ban it. I certainly hope that they preemptively ban Diabolosis, but you know, you can't be too optimistic. So yeah, you probably play two of this when that comes out. Uh, Lenesis, this is another choice preference. I like this card a lot. It's really good into Dragon Link, which is really good now with the Bistials and it gets you searched to fusion deployment or to brand of fusion. It can't add super poly because it only adds a normal spell, but that's fine. It just searches two of your best spells in the deck. Really, really good card. Uh, Rinbrum, so this card does have combo lines to make it, and it is pretty good into some decks. The strength of Rinbrum is in its fusion materials. The thing that you can do with this now is you have something to fuse flu cards off with. Fusion deployment into a defense position Albaz just gets rid of Empen, and that's it, it's cleared really really good for that and you know you haven't used your normals you haven't triggered map they'll still have a trap but you've basically cleared one of their main threats immediately off of 
your one card and you still get this. You can't use the negation effect to much effectiveness against blue, but being able to just fuse off any of their big threats is really, really nice. Uh, the other main advantage to this is the graveyard effect. You can often send this off green all or mirror jade effect, and then it's just basically quick effect revive Alblast from grave and trigger that at any point, which is really, really crazy. Um, Chimera pretty much standard, and Priscanian I've already talked about it, steals stuff and it's a good OTK tool. Takes a kick close on grave, takes other branded cards on grave, or just banishes stuff. But I think I've just about covered everything. So yes, this is 44, but I think that's probably fine. I might cut this down. This is very much just a day one. This is roughly what a branded list looks like. Feel free to change it and adjust it to what you like. You don't want to play uh, 44. I would recommend, first of all, probably cut maybe the Ecclesi the Cartesia down, cut the Lubellion down, maybe cut an Albus down. I think Cross Out is really insane right now for Bestials, Maxi, everything. I feel like you kind of have to play it. So yeah, I'm not sure what you would specifically cut. The probably four cuts I would make to make this 40 is like uh, a Fusion Deployment, a Baldrake, an Albaz, maybe a Super Poly or Lubellion. Up to preference, very much a lot of options and you could play some stuff I'm not playing in the list.